I'm Harold. I'm 22. I'm based out of Houston, Texas, and this is Financial Audit. What do you do, 22-year-old in Houston, Texas, for a living? Um, I work as a physical and occupational therapist assistant. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. Did you do any schooling for that? No, straight out of high school. Straight out of high school. Very nice. And what, what do you make doing that right now? Um, it depends. During the week, I make seventeen fifty, and on the weekend, I make $18. So it's about a 50 cent difference. Okay, so yeah, nothing nothing crazy. How many hours a week do you work? Um, it varies, but I want to say right now, the average for the foreseeable future is about 30 a week. 30? 30, yeah. Okay. You feel that's enough? Not the full 40? Um, the problem with the 40 is that there is no full-time position. Um, there's one, but it's currently filled, and it looks like it's going to stay filled. Most of the employees are PRN, which means they're as needed. So our hours vary. Yeah, but how do you feel living on just that? Um, because of my living situation with my grandparents, I feel okay. Do you live with your grandparents? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. But I know that it won't sustain me for very long. So why do you live with your grandparents? Um, just because um, family situation, my parents really aren't in the picture. So I've been living with my grandparents for about... 20 years now, all my life. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So they pretty much raised you then. Yeah, essentially. Okay. Very nice. So free rent, mm. free living. Okay, cool. You plan to move out? Yeah. Heck yeah. I don't want to be a burden on my grandparents. Okay. I assume before you move out, you want to get out of a disgusting amount of debt? Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, before we jump into your finances, I mean, I want to hear from your perspective as long as you can. Mm-hmm. How do you think your finances stack up to now? What what score would you give yourself? Um, like a Caleb Hammer score? Yeah, a Hammer financial score. A Hammer financial score? Ooh. Well, I want to say <laughs> a definitely a one, if I'm being generous. Probably a zero. Being generous. Wow. Okay. Um, All right. Because <laughs> I'm being really realistic. Um, but I appreciate that. I think with a couple of good steps, potential to really get out of it. You know, if I just... You think so? I think so. Okay. Yeah, so I've, let's, get, let's give myself a 0. 0.5. <laughs> let's a 0. average 0.5 it. out of 10. Dang. So, I mean, I, I've gone through it a bit. You definitely have debts. Why have you gotten into such insanity? Um, well, which debts? I mean, I have multiple kinds of debts, so. No, maybe we'll approach that <laughs> question when we get into them. Mm. Okay. Well, we can start with your checking account, yeah? Sure. Your checking account. Yes. Started with 1500 ended with 1200 so more out than in. Yes. Let's see. So I want to look at your paycheck. So we had pay here mm -hmm. on the 1st and on the 15th, so 1400 then 1000 Yes. And that's all the pay you had. So does the, uh, is that the normal range, like approximately the average of 1250 ish every two weeks? So no, it was, as you know, copyright at this point, a unique month. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so before this month, there it was only, so technically we need three people for the position I'm in, mm -hmm. but we only had two. So I was working nearly every day. Um, so my paycheck reflects that. Now I... That was six to seven days a week. So that was the good one. That was the 1400 Yes. And now? Now I, I did the calculation. I think for the total month, I think I want to say I make 1600 before tax. For the total month? No, no, no. Wait, but that doesn't make sense. On the 15th, you got... Well, this is... Well, I'm, I'm speaking So it's now. gotten worse? Since yes, because I work less. Okay. So the hours went from what to what? So I think I was averaging about 90. Well, no, no, no. I want to say 45 a week, 45 to 50 a week. Now you're at 30. Why? What happened? Why did they cut you? Uh, we hired somebody. Do they need to hire somebody? Um, I think so. I think in general for people in my position, they want us to have 20 or less hours. So what did you say you make now? And what was that before tax or after tax? Now, uh, at this current moment, 1600 before tax. And I well, make a 4% contribution. To your 401k? Mm -hmm. Is it matched to 4%? Yes. I have okay. about 2500 in so there. So it's 100% return then? Yes. 1600 before taxes on a monthly basis. Good thing you don't have rent. Yeah. So you want to be able to afford anything. Is this what you want to do? Because I have a feeling we're going to need to talk about your career choices here. Um, so I am someone who is very, very, very noncommittal. That changed recently. Um, 
now I want to get into accounting, but the way I'm going to get there is super weird. Um, because currently with this amount of pay, I have no way to support myself in school. So, um, right now a really good opportunity I'm looking at is to become a firefighter for a couple of years. All right. oh, that's, that's absolutely <laughs> all over the place. All right, let's look at your checking account. Yes. We talked about what came in, but we have debts. Yes, we sure do. We sure do. You've been, we talked beforehand, you've been watching this channel for two months. Yes. You want to get out of the debt, correct? <laughs> I say I do, but I'm sure my actions don't reflect that. But yes, I do want to. Is it a joke? Um, well, no, I'm, I really do want to, but I'm having trouble controlling my actions. So that they align okay. with my intent. Are you cope laughing? Is that what's happening? Um, yeah, I guess. But I'll okay. stop laughing. No, I mean, you can do whatever you want. I just want to make sure this isn't a joke to you. No, not at all. I'm not to make sure that you're actually trying to do something with your life. Because, I mean, we're going to the dollar store constantly. I'm just dropping a few bucks. It's not crazy. But then we're going to McDonald's and we're door dashing. Dollar store again. The Dina, uh, Chick-fil-A, McDonald's. Doing some cafeteria thing. Cafeteria, cafeteria, Burger King, door dash. And more Dollar Tree. We're just stopping there every day it feels like McDonald's and JC Penny and McDonald's and Dina some flex thing some store cafeteria again and Burger King Netflix subscription cash apping out three hundred dollars raising canes DoorDash DoorDash I mean you're spending a crap ton of, where was that three hundred dollar DoorDash out or uh sorry, the, cash app so my cousin needed money um for his bills he paid me back though he did pay you back. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, you don't have money for your lack of bills, even, because you still have debt. Yeah. But, okay. He paid you back. That's a risky situation in general. But no, it, it was. It was. It was. But what are we doing? All these, again, let's see here. Cover up the number. All the green is BS spending, unnecessary spending, and there's another page as well. If you're trying to get out of debt, you've been watching the channel for a couple months, mm -hmm. they... People put their situations on display just like you are. Thank you for putting your situation on display for other people. Make sure you're subscribed. I love you. And what are you doing spending all this money knowing you know it's bad? Mm -hmm. That's that's true. I do know it's bad. So what are you doing? What's um, happening here? The statement doesn't reflect that, but I have made changes recently. I definitely don't spend... If the statement doesn't reflect it, then how are we making changes? Recently? Well, then it, it doesn't exist, but... All those changes happened after the statement. We're like a week and a half into this month. Yes. So this barely happened. So there's no really history supporting it, but it has changed. What has changed? Um, I definitely don't eat out nearly as much. Um, recently, I talked to my cousin's dad. And before I used to be paycheck to paycheck. Uh, now I am a month ahead on my bills. So for this month, all my bills are already paid for. Um, well, that's good, but you mm. barely even, your bills are just the debt. You don't even have rent or anything. No, I don't. I just have, um, it's not fully the debt. There are some like insurance things that I pay for. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe things have changed for a week and a half. Let's just assume that they're the same for clarity. We should because yeah. a week and a half is nothing in terms of long term stability and change. For sure. So this is just crap. And then DoorDash, and we're doing like the most expensive version of getting food. Yes. Yeah. And we have the debts to pay off. I'm just glad you have a balance that's at least over a thousand. Which is with. extremely new. I used to finish. Really? Yeah. Like two months. I used to finish yeah. each check with maybe like before I got my new check, a hundred dollars. Now, of course, this is in a month where you got more than double what you say you're bringing in now. Yes. So... Good and bad with that, but yeah. What's in your checking account right now? Um, I want to say a thousand dollars, a thousand two hundred. I paid off some bills since okay. then. Okay, 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 okay. But we immediately get into that because there's no savings, is there? Do you have savings? No, nothing. No emergency fund. Oh, no, well, I do have. It's not savings, but I haven't taken it out because I don't want to risk spending the money. Um, it's about $1,000. It's the last paycheck that was given to my mom. She's no longer alive, but it's the money that's owed to I'm her, sorry. so it goes to me. Okay. I'm sorry to hear about that. Um, it's okay. Thank you, though. And you, want, you haven't cashed it because you don't want to spend it? I don't want to spend it. I want to have a reason for that money before I take it out. I, just don't, I don't want it just existing. But that, other than that, there's nothing. Well, guess what? We're starting with a Visa Platinum. What's the first thing on it? 
a DoorDash. late fee. A late fee. Oh. <laughs> Worse than DoorDash. It's a late fee. Why? We're talking about current on bills. Why'd you have a late fee? This was like, this was two weeks ago, late fee. Um, I had a late fee because I'm not used to having so many bills and I still do it manually and I forget all the time. Um, well, you had a late fee the previous month as well. Yes, I forget all the time. What are we doing here? Chinese cafe, Chinese cafe, DoorDash, Burger King, late fees galore, cafeterias. We keep doing that. And Burger King and Amazon and Burger King and Amazon and DoorDash and DoorDash and DoorDash. Interest charges constantly in DoorDash. The interest on that card isn't too bad. Amazon Prime. Some five-star thing that keeps popping up. And, yeah, the interest isn't crazy because you're not holding the craziest balance. But that's because you basically have no available credit on here anyway. Yep. And Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola, interest, Coca-Cola, Amazon, Amazon, Burger King, Academy Sports. What is owed on this credit card currently? Um, currently, I want to say 350 Okay, so it's... A- 332 somewhere around there i'll call 350 just mm-hmm. to be safe but it looks like the the cap is 500 yeah, yeah what are we doing why are we spending money on a card that basically you're already at the cap we're not and this is destroying your credit card i'm not spending money on that card anymore anymore but the, the, it was two weeks ago yeah yeah again all this change you're talking about is like oh i'm gonna be on the show in like a week so i'm not gonna do anything this week that's not any more. That's you took a week off of being of just going crazy with money. Sure, that's fair to say. So that's not any more. Let's stop saying any more. Okay, you took a week off. I took a week vacation from terrible spending habits. Yes, <laughs> any more. What's the interest rate on this thing? Two point two percent. Wow. Okay. Interesting for a credit card. That's interesting. Thirty dollar minimum monthly payment. Okay. And of course, we're spending on it. Not anymore. So I, we, I actually cut them up. You cut them up? Mm-hmm. Very good. Thank you. Positive. Yeah. Positive. Good. Good. All right. We have a Discover card. Yes, this one is the bad one. But I have done some there things for it. one? No, there's no good one. I have made some changes. Not sure how you'll feel about them, but I have. Um, what, for a week? Well, no. Specifically to that card, I did a card transfer. Um... But the balance on that, I want to say, is 1500 The balance on here now? Or I haven't spent anything on it since, so it's that. Oh, so, okay. So it's still at the current balance of 1700 Yeah. You did a balance transfer recently? Yes. With uh, a $87 minimum monthly payment. We've lost 25% in interest. And guess what? Fees charged of $41. But even, guess what more? You did an $88 payment towards it and spent 139 I will never understand this on this. On anytime someone sits across from me, they're like, I've been watching you for a bit. I want to get out of debt. But I am still spending on a card that I am paying less towards on a minimum month, month, monthly basis. What are we doing? Why are we spending on it? Please just help me so I can at least understand where your head is at so we can overcome it by the end. It okay. blows my mind. Um. Regards to what the card? Why you are spending money on a card? Um, I guess it was because I thought it would be better to spend it on a credit card. But you're losing interest on here. How does that possibly make sense? Twenty five dollars. And guess what? Late fees. We're having late fees. That's gonna piss me off. That's gonna piss me off. Forty one dollars of late fees within this statement. So. No, we don't just spend it here because it makes more sense to spend here when we're losing $25,000 in interest and $41 because we're not paying on the car at all, even though the minimum monthly payment is only $87. And what are we doing? We're door-dashing McDonald's. We're door-dashing McDonald's. We're door-dashing McDonald's. We're door-dashing McDonald's. And we're door-dashing McDonald's. All these $30 things. Even if this was money you had to spend, I'd rather it be in the checking account, but you're just door-dashing McDonald's. Yes. And then not paying off the account. So again, why? Because that logic... Um, does not make sense. Okay, so my financial literacy started very recently. I want to say extremely recently. I didn't know how interest work until maybe mm. four days ago. Whoa! I knew really? I knew that this amount of interest was high. Yeah, but I didn't know how it worked specifically. Wow. Um, okay. Up until recently, I didn't see the value in a dollar. I didn't believe in money. Mm. Um, what does that mean? I didn't believe in money. <laughs> um, I didn't see the value in having it outside of being able to 
pay your bills. Spend it. But okay. after watching your videos and you talk about like retirement and being able to afford emergencies, I've started to realize like, you know, how important it is to have those things. Um, so my spending habits reflect an inability to understand how money works. Or unwillingness. That I makes guess. sense. I'm very, very, thank you. Thank you for admitting that. That gives us a place to work off of. That's fantastic. I now understand why you're doing this, and I don't have to beat into you the craziness of this because you're actually able to provide a reason. Yeah. So thank you. That you, That is the average American. Where many of us are not taught personal finance in schools. Many of us are not taught personal finance by our relatives because they have no personal finance scores. We just go, we spend money. We're just dumb yeah. with money. I was, you currently are. For sure, for sure. And hopefully, just like me years and years ago now, you will also get to a better place and we'll put together that path to get to a better place. You didn't understand interest, how interest worked until just a couple days ago. Yeah, I had to look up a YouTube video <laughs> okay. to help me calculate it. Yeah. All right. So, you know, 20% on interest on terrible. here is bad. Terrible. On yes. um, $1,700. Yeah. Yeah. And then your discovery, you also sent something that goes back further. Oh, that, that's the full month. That's the rest of the month. Oh, it's the full month. What did yeah. we do? We added DoorDash, DoorDash a few DoorDash. more times. DoorDash, 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 DoorDash. So... No more spending on here. You cut it up. Okay, you cut it up. Yeah. But it's still probably, you, you, you could use it on your computer or Apple Pay, all these things. I deleted it stop. off my computer. D yes, good. It doesn't exist anymore. These credit cards do not exist. Also, DoorDash does not exist in your situation. Yes, I agree with that. I don't even want you to drive to McDonald's and buy it because that's too expensive and you can't afford it right now. But definitely don't be door dashing. That's fair. That makes no sense. But you can't afford to go out to eat anyway. Now, the secret name. Is this the oh, balance transfer? No. So, um, <laughs> wow. I forgot about that. So, the Synchrony Bank is my parents, more or less, or my grandparents. Um, same financial situation as me, except they're a little older. So, um, I had to finance the washing machine for them it's no. in my name no you did not yeah it was either that or i don't know what we were gonna do um but yeah so it's a it's a no, pair of washing at machines. that point what i would want you to do is rent a washing machine and dryer for a few months you can and do that yes you can do that i did not know no i do but yeah I haven't, because I have a weird situation in my smaller condo in terms of the unit. I didn't uh -huh. really want to buy it for this. So I rent a unit. Okay. It's not that much. You could have done, oh, this is just, yeah. Um, just but the interest on it, of education. the interest on it is not bad. It's promotional period. I would easily be able to pay it off at the minimum payment before interest starts being charged. <gasps> yeah, but you have this minimum monthly payment. Of, of 135. 135. And for someone... Who's like barely bringing in any money? For sure. Like these minimum monthly payments are starting to uh, starting to stack up, and you finance your grandparents. Just a washing washer. machine and dryer. Yeah. What? What do you think I was gonna? Yeah, that's Sorry. what you financed. Ah. <laughs> uh, Cause it's not even. I mean, it is yours. You own it. You know. Yeah. That, right? Yeah. Do they know that? Uh, yeah, but I'm not sure what I would do with the washer and dryer. I mean, it's just in our house now. You're going to take it to your place when you get it. Oh, um... Unless it already comes with one. Yeah, I guess, but I'm not sure and I'd want to take it. And then they are going to rent their own. They don't have the money for it. What do you mean they don't have the money for it? Uh, uh, I get it. No, no, no. I mean, no, that makes sense. I, that's the whole reason I financed it. So they're on, like, limited income, Social Security type stuff? Uh, my grandpa is. My grandma works, though. Okay. So, by not affording it, are they using their money in bad ways? What's um, happening? Do they ever go out to eat? Yes, for sure. Then they can afford to rent a washer and dryer. Um, I understand that. That's as easy as the math works there. Yes, but the thing is, is that they're the type that aren't willing to... Uh, like, my grandma has a lot of stress issues. Okay, so um, they're not willing to. And I want yeah. to cut back. Um, I'm not sure they know how. Okay. And, and if, honestly, honestly, I, I say this in the most loving way possible. Them. 
this is not your responsibility. If they are not willing to cut back to take care of themselves, it is not on their grandson to put his entire financial future on hold for them. I love giving back. I want you to give back. I want to give back to those who helped me as well and others. You cannot do that while you yourself are in a massive hole that you're struggling to climb out of. Yeah. And you don't go deeper into the hole to help people who are not willing to help themselves. I would have understood it if they were on a super fixed income and you have looked at their budget and literally every single dollar they have is just going to their survival. But you said they cannot afford it, yet they are going out to eat. They can afford it. They are choosing. They go out to eat on a credit card. Well, that's even worse. (laughs) Yeah. Again, they are choosing to in this situation that I hold. I'm not going to talk about their finances and stuff like that because I don't have it in front of me. They obviously need their own financial audit. Uh, I mean, they're just living like an American typically lives. I mean, this is normal, unfortunately. But doesn't mean it falls on you. It doesn't fall on me, but a lot of my family is in the same situation. And even though my situation is bad, I'm probably in the best position. Currently, as it stands, my grandparents, at least my grandma, is not going to be able to retire at all. So if I don't help her, there's not really Do you know what else. their mortgage payment is or rent or whatever it is? Um, I want to say the house is paid off. Okay. I want to say that. And but a lot of the... And your dad is getting social, or uh, grandpa's getting social security. Yes. If how old are they? Um, seventies and sixties. Well, which one's the sixty? My grandma. Grandma. She's retirement age, basically. If she works until around that seventy, seventy-two, you know, I think. Oh, what is the exact year for full retirement benefits? Isn't it sixty-six in nine months or something like that? Is it? They raised it recently, I think. I know. I don't know it off the top of my head. It, again, doesn't really matter for our conversation, but... Mm. Okay. Either way, if she works for a few more years, and if she has a paid-off house, and she can take advantage of the tax laws in Texas when it comes to their property taxes and their retirement age, I see no reason why they can't. Extreme live. debt. Extreme debt? What does extreme debt mean? Um, 20, 20 grand, but she makes less than I do. 20 grand, I know, but when they get to the point of full retirement and they have no payments to take care of when it comes to housing and they can live on a minimal food budget, I could get them into a situation where they get out of $20,000 in debt relatively quickly. So again, it just comes down to almost an enablement of some way, but even worse because you are going further into debt and you're right. Sure, you could pay this off by doing minimum monthly payments, but guess what? Late fees. Yes. So yeah. what the f***? What do you mean I can pay this off with no issues? Late fees. You're missing payments. So clearly this doesn't make sense. That's fair. That's fair. I can't try to excuse that. Yeah. Mm-mm. Um, but outside of that, oh, my car in school. Then that's the rest of the debt, I think. For them? Or, no. For me. No, For I, them, I, get it. Um, but I don't this, know. This doesn't make sense. This doesn't make sense. This doesn't make sense. When you have your place, if it doesn't come with a washer and dryer, you are taking this. You are taking this because you're not going to pay for two washer and dryer systems. You're not going to pay for renting yours or buying another one while also paying this one off while climbing out of a hole. doesn't make sense. Give back when you're in a better place. Yes, absolutely. Let's do it. But climb out of the hole first, dude. That's fair. And don't enable their bad choices. Um, um, what? They're using credit cards to go out to eat. They'll make those choices regardless of whether or not I help them. My, what I try to do is to stop them as much as possible. No, 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 no. What you're doing, okay, grandma and grandpa, if you need help, I will help. You need to follow these. If you're, if you're not following these guidelines that we've laid out, then I cannot help because I'm just enabling bad behavior. Boom. Will they follow it? I don't know. But it's not on you if they don't. That is their personal choice that they are making for their own life. Okay. It does not fall on you. That is And it statement. shouldn't fall on you anyway. I agree, but... Don't but. Come on, take care of your own life, dude, please. No, I, I agree with that. Um, it's just... Uh, you'll see. Like, with some of my bills, like, n- n- not every bill I pay 
uh, there's other bills that I pay that aren't mine, technically. You barely even pay your own bill, bills late fee on every account we've looked at so far. Yes. So what do you mean? Um, Stop paying other people's bills. Take care of your own sh**, dude. If they don't pay it, I don't know who will. That's it doesn't problem. matter. It's not yours. You can't even pay your own bills. Your bills come first before anyone else's. That's fair. Um... I guess, like the... You have a great heart and good sympathy, but you need to look at this from a realistic perspective. You're throwing your entire future down the drain right now because you're missing payments. You can't do that. You matter too. Of course. I mean, I think I believe that. I just don't... Do it through your <laughs> actions then. Mm-hmm. You have a car and you have car debt. Yes. With a current balance of $16,870. That sounds correct, yeah. With a minimum monthly payment of two eighty six. Yes. What is the term on this? Ooh, you're not gonna like this. Sixty 72. months. No. Sixty? Yeah, sixty. I can't believe I'm celebrating that, but there's been so many seventy twos, <laughs> and we're gonna see eighty yeah. something. I had soon. no idea how it worked before. Granted, when I uh, did the so <laughs> the cars, my sister's car. I took it off her hands because I needed a car. Um. But the interest isn't bad on it. The interest is 3.99%. How much? 3.99. And I did the calculations, and even if I paid it off quickly, I would save only about 1,700. Yeah. No, with interest rates like that, yeah. It depends on a few other categories, a few other things, and we'll talk about that, but what is the car? Uh, 2018 Mazda 3. Okay. The um, Sport is the regular one. Mileage? I want to say 93,200. Okay. It's up there. Not crazy, but not absolutely perfect. But for it's pretty middle of the road. Okay. Well, we'll talk about that then. Then we also have student loans. Yes. So you don't have a degree. You started doing this job after yeah, high school. Yeah. I, uh, I went to Boston University for two years and I dropped out because I didn't know what I wanted to do. What were you studying? International relations. Useless degree. Useless. I wouldn't have, known, I wouldn't have nothing to do with it. Well, technically, there's... Well, depending on the cost of the degree, a degree in general does have a return on investment. Oh, yeah, it did, for sure. But yeah. even if it's a useless degree, but it does depend on how much money you put into that degree yeah. to calculate that return. What are the interest? Do you know the interest rates once the pause resumes, which is coming up quite soon? Um, I want, I remember looking at it a long time ago. I tried to look at it before this, but they're all 0%. I, know, yeah. I think it ranged anywhere from 3 to 6 mm. Okay. And that's probably going to be a minimum monthly payment around 175. Yeah. Call it 175. Unless it's income based, which I hope it's not. It's four different loans? Yeah. All together, yeah. Anything else? Do you have anything else? Is there any um, other Car, student loans, credit cards. No. That's it. Washing machines. That's it. No. Yeah. I think your taxes. I mean, there's going to be some withholding technically, but by the end of the year, you, um, mm, 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 I would adjust your withholding. Because you're, you're not going to owe any. You're basically not going to owe any taxes with the different things that are happening right now if it's this on a yearly basis. Uh, so make yeah. sure you look at your withholding. Make sure not too much is being taken away. My withholding? Yeah. With, uh, withholding your taxes. Oh, you know, make sure that the um, I just want to make sure that not much is being taken away because you're not going to owe much of taxes. Um, I think I hope income stays consistent. I've done the calculations. I think it comes out to be 12 percent. I think um, it's not very much. Yeah, I'm sure you could find ways to get that. Uh, yeah, 12 percent on like what? Only a few thousand of this, though. It's not going to be dude. You're not going to pay much in taxes. Thousand six hundred dollars a month. Um, uh, last year, I think I made like 24 grand, I think. Somewhere around yeah, well, 26. you're going down to below 20 now. Yeah, if I keep this up, yeah. Either way, I'm just going to say like 1,400 hits your account on a monthly basis, right? I've made that estimate. I think that's fair. 1,400. After different holding, and then you do 4% towards the 401k, which is 100% return, so it beats any of these debts, so that makes sense to do, but this is what kills me. Okay. The minimum monthly payments on your debts, and this includes, this, we don't have to include the college, the debt repayment, but that's about to start up in just a few months anyway, so oh, we're going to include it. Your minimum monthly payments of $708 for your 
post tax and 401k contribution, uh-huh. it's 50% of your income. Your entire needs category there is completely maxed out just paying the minimum monthly payments. Oh, I thought it was going to be worse. Debt. You thought it was going to be worse? Okay. Yeah, I well, thought it was worse. No, well, this is worse than anything it should ever be. In. Anyway, this is hard, dude. Um, it doesn't feel that hard. What do you mean it doesn't feel that hard? Because I live with my grandparents. What do you mean it doesn't feel that hard, though? We're not paying. We're getting late fees on every account we looked at except for your car. It's not that hard. It's clearly just not cementing in your brain what is actually happening. Um, I know that it's not sustainable, but I I don't really need much in terms of material things. I, I I'll mean, tell I you spent- what you need to actually pay the f-ing minimum monthly payments on your debt, and you're not even doing that. Okay, that's fair. It doesn't feel hard. Uh, what, what what are we going to get to? Oh, I mean, like, my life, I don't feel crushed by it. I mean, I might eventually be, but currently I'm not. If it doesn't feel crushed by it, then I don't... Th- the reason I get so intense is to try to make sure people understand how crushing this actually is, and you don't even understand that if it doesn't feel crushing. Um, 50% of your income on a monthly basis is going to the minimum monthly payments of which you're not even paying on many things. The idea of you paying rent isn't even a possibility in your future. No, I don't think about that at all. I would have to make a lot more. No, you're going to have to live with your grandparents forever. Well, at this rate, yeah. Yes, at this rate. But i like to change it. I would like you to change it too, but if you're not... but the, the, the Okay, I don't think you understand what I'm hearing. You're saying it doesn't feel crushing. It doesn't feel bad. It doesn't feel like it's a lot. If it doesn't even feel that way, then how are you going to have a fire under your butt to completely sacrifice everything in life in order to actually get out of this crappy situation? I mean, when I feel like it's not crushing, I mean day to day. Um, I don't feel... I know that I need to make a change, but I don't feel like... um, Other than being able to move out and I guess gain a higher sense of independence, I don't feel like I'm missing much out of life. Um, but I do know that if I stay at this current rate, especially if anything happens, I won't be able to handle it. I won't be able to control anything. So the spiral could start. It's just that in terms of my day to day, um, you said one of those cards went to another debt consolidation or something, a balance transfer. Yes. Where is that? I don't have that. No. So that, that happened very recently um it's to it was actually based on recommendation i applied for the city double dash card (laughs) with their promotion for zero percent off on a transfer Mm. so i tried to do the math and i said okay well if i move money to this card on zero percent interest i'm gonna save on the interest what did you yeah what was it the amount I moved? Yeah, from the Discover, right? Yeah, so... Is the Discover still at 1700 though, right now? Or did uh, you move that balance, or was it a balance on top of that? So, I... The the application was weird. Um, so, if it if it went through... I, I have the card. I don't know if the transfer already happened. But if it hasn't happened, I can just do it. But it was going to be the 1700 Yeah, well, it's not... I only got a credit limit of 1200 on the Okay, same. but it's that money, though. It's nothing on top of that 1700 uh, so you're going to transfer as much as you can from that 1700 right? Yes, to save on the interest. Okay, but it's not anything on top of that. No, it's just that money. Okay, okay. okay. So and I should still, be able to pay that off. The debt still stands where it is today, then? Yes. Okay. Until that... Do until you buy your transfer. own groceries? Well, I mean, I was buying my own food, like the, the fast food. If you food. are to cook at home in meal prep, do I have you need to buy that. your own groceries? Or yes, I do need to buy my own groceries. Because the I, the stuff they eat, I don't tend to eat, so I buy my own groceries. Um, and I did the budgeting, and I think... You don't tend to eat? What if you did eat it, though? If I did eat it, um, well, they don't. my grandma also doesn't cook consistently. That's why they go out. I don't care. The groceries that are there, can you have them, or do you need to get your own? I can have them, yeah. Okay. But usually, I can't have them, it, yeah. I can. I'm going to give you very minimal grocery budget then because you're going to take advantage of what's there and also what you need. Okay. But guess what? You're not touching a restaurant, dude, or a DoorDash. You can't. I need to make sure you fully, completely understand that before we even go into a breakdown of a budget of any kind. Yeah, I know. All my money's going to have to go into my debts. Do you pay for health insurance? No. I'm on my grandma's insurance. What's your car insurance? Um... Uh, Geico, but I don't only pay my own car insurance. Huh? I don't. I pay multiple people's insurance. That's what I was talking about. Here we are.
What? 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 What is yours alone? So mine alone is one hundred and sixty-eight dollars. One sixty? Yeah. Or oh, once. Hold on, let me check. I have everything budgeted out. Um, your generous heart is killing me. <laughs> uh, I've actually gotten that before. I'm too giving. Um, for my Geico. One sixty and eighty nine cents. One sixty. Yeah. What are the other car insurances you are taking advantage? So of? So I pay for my grandparents and my um, aunts, and it is total. Uh, oh, it's not on here, but it's. It is on here. Oh, sorry. It is uh, three hundred and nine dollars. You can't afford that. You can't afford it. You you can't afford it. You, it doesn't exist. You can't afford it. Starting today, you're having a tough conversation with both those groups saying, I cannot afford it. I can't afford it. Literally, my money doesn't exist to afford it. I'm going deeper into debt. You cannot afford it. Mathematically, it does not work. Yeah, I know I can't afford it. Okay, you can't afford it, so you're having a conversation with them. And if you don't do this, if you don't do this, then there's no point in this conversation because none of this exists unless you clear up that $309. But you call them, uh, you talk to them, sit down, whatever is the best situation to deal with them. And you say, I cannot afford this. I'm going to try to get out of debt and actually live my life. I cannot afford this anymore. I'll take care of it for one more month. That's it. That's it. No, nothing else. I don't want to hear anything. That is it. There is no other choice. But what if the... I just want to hear what your take is on this. What if the situation is the same for them? I don't give a sh I am talking about you and improving your own life. This debt is impossible to get out of right now at $1,600 a month. Because guess what? All of a sudden, that money is already gone, basically. It's gone. If the situation is for them, I will talk to them about how to improve their situation. But you simply cannot afford this. It doesn't get any more basic than that. Okay. Math doesn't lie. It does not lie. So you have the conversation. Will you have that conversation? Will you actually do this? If you don't, there's no point of it even continuing, honestly. Um, yeah, I'd do it. You have to do it. Not I'd do it. I will do it. I will do it. Uh, I'm not sure if they'll agree, though. It's not their f***ing choice. <laughs> it's not their choice. Yeah. I'm I don't agree for you to uh, stop paying my own bills. That's not their choice. You stop. And they will choose whether or not they're breaking the law by driving without car insurance or not. It is not their choice for you to pay for something whether or not they agree with it. I don't give a sh**. They can put on their big boy pants and take care of themselves. You do not need to subsidize their entire life. Going out to eat and swiping credit cards all the time. Them and you, but them. Come on. No, this is done. I don't care if they don't agree to it. You need to take care of yourself. Okay. I'll do it. You them. have to, or there's nothing. Groceries, I'm giving you $200 a month because you're taking advantage of what Oh, that's not bad. No, it's not. My budget is 225 Okay, well, it's 200 now. So 160 for your own car insurance, 200 mm. for food. Do you have to share the cost of utilities or anything? No, they don't make me pay for anything. Okay. Probably okay. the reason why I also got the Well, I know, but you're, you're not taking care of it anymore. If the conversation of you pitching in to deal with utilities, property tax, something like that, whatever it is, that's a valid conversation, and we can talk about the amount then. But... You are not helping, especially your aunt, but not your grandparents either. Gas, how much do you spend a month? Uh, the So last month I spent uh, gas, gas, gas. I spent $59.25. 60 bucks. Do you take care of your own phone bill, internet, anything like that? What's oh, internet. Oh, internet. Yes, seventy-one dollars. I don't uh, phone bill. No. Okay, they can take care of the other utilities if you're taking care of internet. Yeah, I mean. Okay, fair I enough. So. What's the internet again? Seventy-nine. Seventy-one dollars. Seventy-one. Okay. Then good old debt comes in at a minimum monthly payment of seven hundred eight dollars. Death. Death, death, death. And you can't spend anything outside of that. That's it. That's where your money goes. There's nothing you're allowed to spend money on outside of that. Doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. 
Okay. There's nothing else that exists outside of that. Might feel unrealistic. I don't get it. Your life sustaining is unrealistic right now, financially speaking. So I don't give a if it feels unrealistic. Right now, in order to survive, you need $1,199 on a monthly basis just to survive. Okay. Good thing you make that much. Bad news, you don't have much left. That's 85, 86%, 86% of your income, of your post tax. You have essentially $200, $200 on a monthly basis to start attacking this crap. So you know that $1,000 you had? Which one? The $1,000 you haven't touched? Yeah. Congratulations, you're touching it. You're touching it, your visa's paid off. Oh. I don't care, I don't give a Nope, don't make any noises. Do it. It's the nope. It, no, that that ah. money has a lot of sentimental value. Okay, that's fantastic. I'm not sure if I. It's because it's. I don't have much from my mom, and I. I mean, it, it. In terms of the use of the money, it is a good use, but I. I had envisioned using it for something important that would stay with Dude, me. Dude, I promise this is important. I know it's important. And but this will stay with you if you don't pay this off. This $1,000 doesn't make or break because you only have $200 extra on a monthly basis if you stick to this. And what's my confidence that you stick to this? I don't know because we have nothing to show that you could potentially do it. That's fair, yeah. Do you think your mom would want you to use this money to change, to turn around your life? Yeah, yeah. It, this $1,000 will have more impact on you now getting rid of high interest debt that is disgusting than in any potential investment in the future. Yeah. I mean, no, no investments, 25%. I get the sentimental value. I want to respect that. Even if you think about it in a sentimental way, the way I talked about it though, this and that money will have a greater impact than investing it in the S and P 500 later. Saving and using it as a very starter emergency fund, using it as an extremely start saving for a home. This will have more impact now than at any of those times. That's fair. Um, I'm sure I'd have trouble doing it, but I'm also someone who follows logic. So, this, Matt, if, if you want to follow logic, then it, there is nothing more logical than using it. Yeah, I kind of argue against the numbers. Um, I get the sentimental value. Maybe find something you can do where maybe you use this $1,000 now to get out of really bad debt. And then, do you have like a little brother or something? Only child. Uh, cousin? I have cousin. Uh, or even just like a friend or like a student that you know. When you're in a better place and your investment's on track, you do like a $5,000 check to someone who wants to go to college and you're like, okay, in my mom's name, here you go. Something like that. You used th th this $1,000 to start getting your life on the right track and you turn it back by giving away five times more, you know, years down the road when you're in a better place. There's a way to turn this into something better. But right now you just, the $1,000 is unfortunately not a ton of money, but What's unfortunate is it's a ton of money in your case. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm not used to working with a lot of money. So, yeah, you're right. This is a lot of money to me. Um, yeah, I guess I'll do the I really paperwork to do it. it. I, I get it. I do, but I recommend it. Because all of a sudden, that's one credit card gone. And guess what? You can put the remaining seven... Uh, 650 bucks towards the Discover card. And there's only a thousand dollars left on the Discover card. Even with the balance transfer, you put it wherever. Yeah. Um, Wouldn't it make sense to put it all towards the Discover card then? Uh -huh. We're just in your situation. The snowball makes sense because your debts are laid out in a way where the balances are relatively increasable throughout them. There's not like a massive debt with an insane interest that makes sense to attack first or anything like that. Mm. So what we do is we get rid of that because it clears up $30 in minimum monthly payments. And then the Discover card, again, you put that $700 towards it. And then, or 600 bucks, you have $1,000 left on the Discover card. Mm -hmm. Now you only have $200 extra on a monthly basis. That's going to take quite a few months to pay off. So what I recommend in the meantime, car, 2019, uh, 2018 car, you're going to be driving Uber Eats. You're going to be delivering for Jimmy John's. I don't care what you're doing. You're driving Uber. You are working only 30 hours a week now, maybe even less. You need 
to go slam those work hours somewhere else, anywhere. I don't care, barista. I don't give a crap. Service is desperate to hire right now. They're like the industry that is desperate to hire. You are going to take advantage of it, and you're going to work every single second of your life because $200 is going to take way too long to pay off that $1,000. And then we haven't even talked about the $3,000 and then the $16,000 and then the $13,000. You need to bring in an extra $1,000, $2,000 a month that you can start throwing at this crap. Mm -hmm. Because right now, in this situation with where this debt is, Mm -hmm. we'll pretend... Well, actually... Oh, crap. Well... I mean, the student loans at six percent. I mean, we'd want to pay that off. So, um, I do plan on. Uh, well, I don't plan on only working this job for that much longer. But with where this debt is, mm-hmm. we'll talk about that in a second. But with where this debt is, with the extra money you have now, it takes ninety months, and that's not even paying off your car because your oh. that's not even your car. That's just your student loans, the synchrony, and what's left of your Discover. Is that eight years, the, nine years? Uh, it's not a decade. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Damn. Seven and a half. That's You're gonna be time. almost going into your thirties at that point. And that would be without thinking of schooling or anything. That's yep. just bills. And that's just taking care of this debt, not including your car, because I didn't put the car in there. Like my monthly car payment? Yeah, that's not even including your car debt. That was just your student loans, synchrony, and what's left of the Discover after the oh, 600. Yeah. So it's even worse with the car. But guess what? With this car, I'm doing minimum monthly payments until it's paid off because it makes no mathematical sense to pay off early. Okay. And it's a relatively good car. Just do it. Make sure you're taking care of it. But the interest rate, minimum monthly payments until it's taken off. Mm-hmm. You get this extra job or you get the firefighter job or you do something else within you wanted to be in accounting. Mm-hmm. And we'll talk about that in a second. But... What I would do is then you're paying off the Discover card as quick as possible. Then you're paying off the Synchrony as quick as possible. Mm -hmm. If you bring in these extra few thousand dollars, you can pay these off within like five months. And then the student loans, once the payments are resuming, which by that point they will have been resumed, Mm -hmm. whatever is over 4%, you are paying off as quick as possible. Okay. Whatever is 4% or less, minimum monthly payment until they're paid off. 4% okay. Then you need to save up probably at least like $10,000 as an emergency fund after that as quick as possible. And then, and only then, yeah. can you go have McDonald's. You don't get to once until all that's taken um, care of. Okay. Uh, when do I start thinking about moving out? After the emergency fund. Which is ten grand. So or whatever, after the high of- interest rates are da- done, uh-huh. it's probably going to be in a year and a half. The pe- that's if you're bringing in more money. If I'm bringing in I, I'm being generous in a year and a half. It could be that very long period of time. If to, to get another job, you mean to increase my income? In, get, get an extra job or change that career path. You talked about the firefighter. Now you also talked about, and this is where we can talk about it, but you talked about getting into like the accounting space. Yes. There is going back to school, but we can also look at getting into the world of... Uh, getting into companies, helping with different things through certifications. Have you looked at Course Careers, the company that works with me that I work with? Oh, I've I, I've seen you mention it, but no, I haven't looked Check at it. Check it out. It's in the top of the description. Check it out. See what certifications they have that might apply to something you want to do. That's a cheaper, quicker way to get into the workforce in a qualified way where you make more money doing something you like to do. So I highly recommend checking that out. And also, without the credit cards, I mean, while I'm on the topic of the companies I work with, you should definitely use the Fizz de- debit card. It, it's especially good for people your age, and it helps your spending on certain categories, mm-hmm. helps build credit scores, things like that, but you're not using credit cards anymore. It's a debit card. So use that. Check out Course Fears, and that's good. You know. Uh, okay. That's My credit score is actually not too bad. Only because I, I only say them because they actually apply to you. Yeah, it's below 700, so we still want it to go up over time. But, but yeah. just barely, 698. Just barely. just barely. Either way, what this comes down to, you got to get a better job, new career path, or just work your butt off right now with a bunch of jobs, and then you can do all this, including saving up for emergency fund in a year and a half, couple years, or you can do nothing, and it'll take until you're 30, if not longer. I definitely don't want to take until 30. I'd rather not, because I want you to get your own place, but you can't get your own place. Uh, so a few things... Are now this situation is dependent on a few things. Mm-hmm. One, you have to tell your grandparents in a nice way to f- go f- themselves. Um, in a nice way, that's that's the <laughs> Caleb nice Hammer way. way of saying things. Of uh, 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 you're not paying their car insurance. Same with your aunt. And then that washing machine situation. When you move out, you're taking it. You're not paying for theirs. If you want to help support them down the line, do it. I'm for it. Once you're in a better place. 
So you need to have that tough conversation and then the income thing. Figure that out and then put every single little thing that you make that is not your car insurance, your $200 of groceries, $60 of gas, internet, and minimum monthly debt payments. Anything outside of that just literally goes to paying off the debt, smallest to biggest. And then emergency fund. And then we start investing 20% of our income every month, every year. And, you know, you're already doing 4%, so you just got to do 16 more percent. But either way, that's what it's going to take. You cannot have any fund that costs money until then. So how fast you get out of this is up to you and how hard you're going to work. That's true. I mean, that's life in general. I want you to be realistic with me and the audience. You know yourself walking out of here, everything I just said, what is actually going to happen? Um, let's see. Based off of my historical track record, I definitely have been someone to where a fire gets lit under me. And, you know, maybe a month or two, I stay on track, I stay on track, and then it starts to feel pointless and I give up. But, um, well, I can't say that, oh, you know, this time will be different because there's nothing to support that other than my word. Um, that and we will hold you accountable because you'll come back for an update. I'll make you. <laughs> and we'll yell at you if you don't do this. Um, yeah. So I think lately I've been making a lot of changes that normally I envision to be impossible. Um, so realistically speaking, um, I think I will do the things, but it's going to be a very rocky start. Um, cause that's how I tend to be. I tend to be a very slow starter. So, I'd definitely be on this path, but probably at a slightly slower rate. Just, um, I think I need to get like my motivation or guess drive. Um, I can be very lazy, very, very lazy. Um, so, and I know that, um, so I don't want to say that I'm the type of person to go balls to the wall, you know? Um, but I definitely, I mean, I hear your advice. I came here for a reason. Um, and I'm not just going to disregard it and I will listen. Just, I'm not sure it will be at the same rate we talked about, but I don't, I don't want it to be much slower, like um, maybe slightly behind. But what I see years? when people don't go crazy, like two years is you going crazy though, and getting a much better job. When I find people don't go crazy, you know, it just, it just mm -hmm. extends it essentially forever. So it's yeah. really your choice in there. I do want to one, add one other thing when it comes to this grocery stuff. Um, this, this is. Do not take personal offense to this. And I, I'm going to ask you a couple questions. How tall are you? Oh, I am 5'7", five, 5'8". Seven, five, five, seven, five, I've gotten both. What do you weigh? I've actually been losing weight. Um, 237 last time I checked. Okay. Well, as a fellow thick boy, mm -hmm. I, I, I get it. When you're eating at home and stuff like this and you can choose your own groceries and not door dashing McDonald's every single day, this is also going to improve... Uh, your overall health, yeah. your overall energy, and just outlook on life in general. So that's another really good thing to consider in this overall thing. Yeah. It's just an extra benefit of what can mm -hmm. come with this. But it's an extra obstacle to get over because overcoming that, the food convenience, and that you know fast food lifestyle, and I get it. I oh, love the yes. grease and the sweets. Yes. I get yes, it. But yes, overcoming yes, yes, yes. that and overcoming the financial thing at the same time, very difficult. So make sure your support system is good. Talk to your friends. Seek therapy uh, with the health care you have. Do what is necessary to make sure you are sustainable on this path long term. Yeah. That seems solid advice. Any final thoughts? Um, Final thoughts. I've actually been thinking about this, about what I would say. Um, just, yeah. I mean, I know the situation looks bad. I know that... You know, a lot of people, a lot of times they get the advice and they don't do it or they go back to their old ways. Um, but I really aim to do something different and take the advice to heart and really try to understand what it means to be uh, financially sustainable. So, yeah. And uh, just thank you for having me on. That's pretty much it. When we do a checkup, two of those credit cards should be gone. We should start be making progress on that synchrony at a minimum. So... Let's see. Okay. <laughs> I hope I live up to those expectations.
for Harold. There are a lot of things to clean up there, but I'm happy he was honest about where he thinks his score is. He gave himself a 1 or a 0.5 to be optimistic. I got to give him a hammer financial score 0 out of 10 right now. You got to take care of yourself before you can take care of others. I want you to take care of others and be sympathetic, but you got to be in a better position. He can't even pay his own bills right now. Late fees, late fees, late fees. And if we're having late fees, missed payments on debts, you cannot have anything over a 0 out of 10 for a hammer financial score. Make sure to check out all the resources in the description below and don't forget to follow my Instagram and Twitter. Thanks.